alternative media television. A lot of you are probably gonna not like this video, but it's the truth. And what we have coming is going to be absolutely so bad that hundreds of millions of people worldwide in the United States are going to starve. Absolutely starve. And I've been talking about this for a very long time, why food is actually the greatest currency. And the reason I'm bringing this message to you is because everything you're seeing in the mainstream media right now is manufactured and it's a lie. It's an absolute scam. The stock market, for example, best 50-day performance we've ever seen. While at the same time, 40 million people are unemployed, I have a lot of friends furloughed, bankrupt, not getting any stimulus or benefits from the U.S. government at all. While we have bankrupt companies like Hertz hitting triple digits in bankruptcy, we have the FANG stocks monopolizing the entire planet with their talents. And they're telling us everything's fine while the world burns. Now, the World Bank actually put out an honest report today and said we have 100 plus million people worldwide that are absolutely going to starve to death in poverty. That's true. That's true. And I see this, I don't know if you guys see this, but I see it because I've been doing social media for a very long time. People are usually doing the opposite of what they should be doing, and then they wait for a crisis. So let me give you an example. I fled Arizona six months ago, warned all of you to get food storage. Leave the cities, I said. People said I was nuts. And then the lockdowns and the quarantines and the economic collapse and the stock market crashed. The circuit breakers broke on Wall Street, bro. And it's going to happen again. And so now people are feeling a little bit more hopeful. I just talked to John, who works for me. He's been working for me for a very long time. I said, hey, what's going on in Arizona? Has it normalized yet? He said, no. There's the National Guard underneath my apartment right now. And they've boarded up all of Old Town Scottsdale. All the retail businesses, all the restaurants that just got looted by protesters just a week ago. And now everybody's freaking out that it's going to happen again. Second wave of COVID coming. Manufacture or not, get it through your freaking head. They're warning of this now. They're going to use the narrative of the protests as the leading indicator and the reason for all this. People are always doing the opposite of what they should be doing at the right time. So what did I do? What did I do today? I bought literally tens of thousands of dollars worth of food storage. Literally, today. That's what I bought. Long-term, 30-year shelf life, stocking up. Stocking up? Not because of the World Bank. Yeah, they can tell me 100 million people are going to starve. I already know that. You, you know what's probably next? Lights out. Lights out. That's probably next. So this hopium BS, these lies being propagated by CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, that everything's okay when it's not, is lies. Lies. The minute I see that, honestly, I start to panic. I start to panic and I start going, oh, holy cow. What should I be doing right now? What kind of action steps should I be taking while the dumbed down masses are so ignorant, they fail to prepare again and again and again? I can only imagine what's going to happen to this country when they lock it down for the second time. Number two, can you imagine? Hey, what if there was just a natural disaster right now, like an earthquake? Or Hurricane Cristobal. Could you imagine? The U.S. dollar is collapsing. Get it through your freaking head. Hyperinflation has hit in the United States. This is going to create a dislocation. Unlike anything we have seen since the collapse of Russia. And the balkanization... And then the emergence of oligarchs, same thing's happening here in America. 
Who do you think the oligarchs are? Well, Jeff Bezos is doing pretty clean right now. I don't know if you noticed. He's the trillion dollar man. This all has an agenda. This is what you need to understand. They are leading a horse to water to their end goal. Food is going to be very, very important. I've been sold out. I've been selling food for 12 years. 12 freaking years. We have been sold out. Check this out for yourself. Click the link below. AMTVstore.com. Sold out. We've been sold out for months. This was one of the reasons why I escaped from the major cities. Because six months ago in January, when COVID hit, and the Chinese were stealing people out of their homes and throwing them in jail and doing gosh know what, what else with them, I have no idea what they were doing with them. The U.S. government and Homeland Security bought all of the food storage. All of my major suppliers ceased. I was like, hey, dude, Bob, what's going on, man? We need to you know, place an order. He's like, sorry, dude, the U.S. government, Homeland Security bought all of our food store. I'm like, what? That's why I left. They tell you one thing and do the opposite. So when the mainstream media, CNN, Fox News, MSNBC has a projection of recovery, run for your freaking life. Run for your life. We have refugees coming from both the East and West Coast, collapsing democratic failure bastions of socialism that are eating on themselves. Because they're so corrupt and bankrupt that people are fleeing those infected cities. And you know where they're going? The redoubt states. My great state, Arizona, Texas, Idaho, Nevada's another one, Wyoming, Montana. They're running for their lives. Because the United States of America is balkanizing and collapsing before your very eyes. There was another article, follow me on Twitter, not my words, U.S. dollar is finished. Hyperinflation is coming to the United States. So, when they're projecting normalcy, the new normal, when the best jobs are contact tracer, go look it up. Look up your city, if you're in, uh, or state. If you're in Minnesota, look up contact tracer at jobbing.com. All the new jobs are contact tracing Gestapo people. They call you three times a day and say, hey, do you have the COVID? Do you have the COVID? Do we need to make a house stop? Like the Nazis, dude. That's what's happening. People are always doing the opposite. Not you. You guys are smart. You're prepped. You got food. You got water. You're doing all these things I've been warning about for years. But the the masses do the opposite of what they should be doing any time. You are not going to be able to get food in the coming months. Do you understand that? The lights likely to go out. So if you got freezers filled up with meats, notice all those prices have skyrocketed, poultry, food, cheese, it's going to go bad. Like, do you get that? It's not going to be a good thing. There are reports in Texas and Arizona, these are hardcore facts, that the COVID cases are rising. I have friends that are doctors and nurses. My brother's been fighting cancer for the last two years. Bone cancer. Had his whole whole leg. Gone. The whole thing's gone. This hip, gone. He's a survivor through the grace of God. So I know, because I have loved ones in the hospital right now. The COVID cases are rising. And all those states that opened up first, Texas, Arizona, all these places, New Zealand, uh, released the quarantine, but you can't come into the country. Here in Hawaii, for example, no trans-Pacific flights. None. If you come in, 14-day quarantine, and the Gestapo calls you three times a day. This is leading to disaster. You know, God spoke to Noah, said, get food, build the ark. The flood is coming. The rain is coming. The same thing is happening now. Wake up. Understand how bad it's going to get. Starvation. Everything you see on Wall Street is the hopium rally that I predicted, that I told you would happen. Okay, they're going to create this window of bailouts. Six trillion is a lot of money. 
put into perspective, six trillion, dude. Six freaking trillion! That's a lot of money, bro! Six trillion? That's a lot! You're gonna get a bump! It's called a dead cat bounce! What you're seeing is fake in the mainstream media. It's a lie. People are going to starve in this country. I hope this video is getting your attention. I hope you're understanding how bad it's going to get. For the first time in six months, Six months, and this is an indication that people are not doing the right things. They're not preparing successfully for what's ahead. We've had no food for six months in my stores. I have major facilities all across the country. Inventory of this stuff. Millions of dollars worth of inventory. It's been all sold out for six freaking months. Two new products came in, and I'm noticing people are not taking it. That's why I bought tens of thousands of dollars worth of food for myself. Because people are always doing the opposite of what they should be doing. So, action. Action. What should you be doing? What should you be doing? What you should be doing is prepping. You should be getting food. Click the link below, even if it's not for me. I only have a few items. It's all sold out. Homeland Security and the U.S. Gov bought it all six months ago. The only things we have are we've got our entree packs back. We've got our uh, breakfast packs back. I can't believe I even have that. Honestly, we've got fruits and vegetables. That's it. All of all, of, everything else is gone. All of it. The food that you're buying at Walmart or Target or your grocery store is not stable. Okay, it doesn't last 30 years. If you've got a refrigerator and a freezer, yeah, that's cool, dude. That's awesome, but what happens when it turns off? Are you prepared for that? Do you have enough food and water to survive? The World Bank just said 100 million people are going to starve. The manufactured reality that you currently see is a lie. It's a scam. And it's accomplishing an agenda of the New World Order. That is the hardcore truth, whether you like it or not. So, I'm making this video to get your attention. Wake up! Get food, get water now. It's going to get much, much worse in the United States. A failed country. Failed. A pump and dump scam. Courtesy of the Federal Reserve. Multi-trillion, share this video, like this video. Multi-trillion dollar bailouts. Take it from a guy who worked for Wall Street. I know what I'm talking about. These criminals are screwing you tuning in. Get food, even if it's not for me, right now. Do not hesitate. Get it anywhere you can, or click the link below. I don't care what you do. Be ill-prepared. People were not listening in January when I warned of the lockdown and the quarantine, and I'm telling you to your freaking face, right now, if you don't have food, the people you love are going to starve. I love you guys. Be vigilant. Love God. Make disciples. Prep. Be Noah. Get food today. Do it with us. Store.amtvmedia.com. Click the link below. Or not. Or not. Do nothing. Do nothing. Wait on the government to save you. Yeah, they're going to save you. That's right. The U.S. government. They're going to freaking save you. Get food. Get water. Share this video. It's the absolute hardcore truth. I'm Christopher Green, hard hitting it in your freaking face. I love you. Click the link below or not. Be ill prepared. But this is your warning. This is your wake up call. 
And you heard it here first.